Exodus booster box. Let's do this. heavily apologize for those who have probably been waiting for this. It has been ages since I've done an Exodus booster box opening. I decided let's go for all three of the sets that they've released over the years. That being set two, set four, and set five. Kind of surprised this was not two decks. Instead, it's a whole booster box. I'm going to start off with the new booster box first, the dimension that disappeared, and see what cards I got from there. What's also going to be different for me is that I'm only going to be looking at the rare cards that I get. If I get uncommon cards that are of no significance to me, then I just leave them out. But I will do a tally count of like what cards uh, I've got based on um, on the rarities. How many like rares and uncommons and holographics that I've got. So without further ado, let's start off with the dimension that disappeared. Okay, so our first pack we've got an uh, uncommon holographic in the next set. Oh, hello. What? Okay, I just got a secret rare Kronos monster. We'll look at that later. Another uncommon. Okay, seriously. What? Oh, here we go. We've got ourselves another rare, and it's a Tree Folk monster. That's pretty cool. Card number two. What are you? Uncommon rare. Oh, we got another rare. We got another rare, and it's a Shard Folk. We got a rare symmetry. Interesting, interesting. Oh, dear me. Oh, my. I just got this guy. Oh, no. Another rare monster, and, uh, ah, ooh, ooh, what do we have here, what? It, okay, it's not rare, but it's, uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, no, Desi's gonna fight me for this one. And looks like we've got ourselves our last rare, and it is a symmetry, this is pretty cool. Okay, from the tally of holographics got from this booster box set, I have about four uncommon holographics, seven rare holographics and one secret rare holographic. I am kind of surprised at what I got here. All right, so let's start off from the end here and then work our way up to the secret rare. This is a symmetry. It's called Madness Settles. And this is the card I know my friend Desi would want to fight me for. It is a energy card, a holographic energy card, and it's red. But, well, it's kind of a pink color, but still, I'm sure he would fight me on this one. Here's another rare creature. It is Smoke Stream, the perfect mimicry. Mimicry? Mimicry? And now let's talk about this guy. I finally got him, the main box topper, uh, pretty much the guy who came uh, with this box top. This is Irana, the Flickering Facade. Only one copy of this card allowed in your main deck. Oh, they actually put a limit. Oh, they limited this card. That's interesting. All right, so here is the rare symmetry, Chronological Relapse. Okay, we got a creature here in the shark folk. It is Shard Scale Terra Headon. Huh? Kinda looks like a pterodactyl person thing. That is an interesting shard folk. Roaming Skyscraper Langus, creature, tree folk. And now let's talk about this, the secret rare out of the, this is my first secret rare out of this particular box. So this is Vernegis, the molecular mockery. Just rolls right off the tongue. Ability, living larceny. This creature is every, <coughs> this creature is every creature type. While this creature is in play once per turn, you may discard one card from, oh, that says hand. Some of the uh, wording here is kind of um, faded. To target one creature on the field, that creature loses its ability and this creature gains it for the rest of the turn. Uh, also, here's this aftermath. Creatures on your side of the field are chrono in addition to their own types. Uh, so this guy can be every creature type he is an angel he is a dragon he is a tree folk he is a mush folk he is a bull he is a leviathan he is all of these types that's kind of cool okay so that's the set from the dimension that disappeared and um i did a pretty haul here these are the amount of uh, rare cards that i got from this set now let's clean this up and get to the convergent chasms hey okay so we got a rare Uncommon, rare, uncommon. Are we getting a rare? We got a rare. Ooh, hello. And we got an uncommon. It's like we're having a pattern here. No, seriously, I got a pattern. Rare, uncommon, rare, uncommon, rare, uncommon. That's the first row. What's the second row got for me? We got a rare. Ooh, we got a rare. What about this guy? Uncommon. <laughs> okay, I did not set it up like this. I kid you not, they are literally a pattern. So this must be a rare. Yep, it's a rare, ooh. 
And we got an uncommon? Uncommon! How about this one? We got a rare? I didn't plan this! And we've got an uncommon. Okay, so out of the ratio of holographics here, we've got six rares and six uncommons that are holographic. That's insane. So let me go through the cards again. So let me go through the rares, of course. The uncommons I kind of don't care about, but still, this is pretty cool. It's another uh, Shard Veils on Rush. We've got a rare symmetry, uh, Roaring Sanctuary, Turbine Apparatus, Creature Machine, Starbringer. It's an angel, woo! And now for the other angel, which is also a mist form creature, Cassell the Unvanishing Paladin. And the last one is a creature card, Dimensional Phoenix. So yeah, that's all the cards here from Convergent Chasms. Now to the last box. Cleanup time! Yay, Portal Stell Paragon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Galaxy Tides, let's do this. This is probably one of my favorite sets and probably the best memory out of it is when I was at the convention of Fandomverse back in Oh, long ago. I was able to pull a really cool, rare, a secret rare card out of this set, and it was so cool that I was able to pull that off. Oh, oh man, they've got these cards backwards. Oh, that's right, the holographics are on the back of the cards. Oh, I, I completely forgot about that. All right, so are we gonna have a crazy order? Are we gonna have some crazy cards? What do we have here? Our first card is a rare holographic symmetry. A rare holographic symmetry. A rare holographic symmetry. <laughs> Tree. Ooh! Rare holographic creature. Rare holographic creature. I think they all were holographic. Yep, I think they're all rare, maybe? I don't know. Rare holographic creature. Um, uncommon holographic symmetry. Uh, rare uncommon holographic uh, creature. Rare uncommon uh, holographic creature. Same symmetry as the first one, as before. One of my favorite symmetries, and the last one is just that um, an uncommon uh, holographic symmetry. Symmetry, symmetry. All right, so let us count down what these cards are. I'm just gonna stick to the rares, and it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six rares and six uncommon. All on top is rare, and all on bottom is uncommon. What the heck? All right, so let's look. At, let's look through our rares. Blossom of Veil, Maelstroms, Shores of the Starry Blockade. Ooh, oh, I just noticed there was also a pattern for the rares too. There were three symmetries and three creatures. Nice. We have ourselves a Drangel, Dream Blossom Dragon. And now lastly, Legendary Blade Lazarus. So yeah, that's it ladies and gentlemen. This is the booster box set of Galaxy Tides. And now I kind of regret not going backwards with this one, starting with Galaxy Tides and going all the way to the dimension that disappeared. Because the fact that I was able to get that secret rare just from that box alone kind of surprised me, in my humble opinion. And if you want more surprises like this, then by all means, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if, for more videos like this. But also, above all else, please check out Exodus the Training Card Games YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Twitter. Check out their main website, uh, ExodusTradingCardGames.com, or is it Exodus TCG? Uh, here's the link. Because this is such a fun card game, and I am mad at myself. I have not had a chance to play this in forever with other people. It's something I really need to do, and this was really a fun experience for for me to do here. With that said and done, guys, make God bless and just have a good day.